Good morning and welcome to Sunrise with Pastor Hayton here on a Saturday morning. This week has gone by so very swiftly and it's hard to believe that we're right on the threshold of another Lord's Day. But I'm thankful that we are because I feel like I need special time with God in the house of God. And I'm anxious for Sunday morning to roll around. But we have today to live yet and we certainly want to live our life in a way that is a blessing to others, in a way that is pleasing to God. I know that uh, perhaps those of you that watch us on a regular daily basis notice we may seem a little disorientated at times, and if you think that we are, well, it's because we are. Uh, this has been a terrible week as far as dealing with the loss of a, of a loved one, a loved family member, and as a pastor, I'm kind of having my grief compounded because I've lost a very dear parishioner, strong supporter of our church and a strong supporter of my ministry, one that is loyal and faithful, and uh, I, I'm grieving over the loss that we have, not only as a family member, but uh, as the Lighthouse Chapel. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. I was thinking about Scripture, and I've been sitting here reading the Bible, and I find that Indeed, there are a lot of passages of Scripture that inspire, a lot of Scripture that is intended to bless our hearts, a lot of Scripture that is intended to feed the soul and, and to satisfy the spiritual hunger and to make us strong uh, men and women of God. I find that there are Scriptures that would challenge us to a closer walk with God or challenge us to make a greater effort in building the kingdom of God I just find all kinds of scripture in the Bible, and some of it inspires, some of it blesses, some of it encourages, some of it uh, strengthens and nourishes, but you know, some of it is just a little bit scary to me as well. And when I come to those scary parts, I want to pay special attention to them. Jesus was saying over in the Gospel of Matthew here that, uh, that, that not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. And he goes on to say that many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Now that scares me just a little bit because I realize that just because we may be able to boast of great things that we have done for God and maybe we've been able to accomplish a good bit in what seemingly is pushing the kingdom of God or promoting the kingdom, yet Jesus said that there's going to be many that will come to him in that day and they will call him uh, Lord and they'll say, just think of all the things that we've done in your name but Jesus is going to pronounce judgment upon them. He's going to say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Well, I don't know about you, but that makes me want to examine my heart. That makes me want to examine my life. That makes me want to make sure my salvation. Am I not only looking back to the time as a small lad when I asked Jesus to come into my heart and and uh, looking back across the years when I've been challenged and inspired to, to walk with him and to serve him, uh, certainly I remember the time that I was saved. And I look back and I remember that I've lived my life with desire and determination to serve the Lord. But I think we've got to be sure of our salvation this very day. We've got to be sure that our sins are covered by the blood We've got to be sure that we are living a life that is a pure in heart. For Jesus said, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And I look here at some of the scripture that Christ has dealt with here in Matthew 7, a part of that greatest sermon that was ever preached, no doubt, the Sermon on the Mount. He just says, you know, that not everyone that saith, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, I want to be found doing God's will. I want to be found following his will and obeying his word. I think today that 
that in an effort to bring about unity among the body of Christ or among the professing body of Christ, we call it being ecumenical, and, and uh, you know, we just want to uh, bring about a great deal of, of uh, churches of all beliefs and all doctrines and all faiths together, that we might be one mighty force. Yet, if we're going to have to dispose of some of the cardinal doctrines of the Bible, if we're going to have to get rid of some of the things that are important to our salvation and to our living a life of holiness unto the Lord, uh, we, we, it's not worth it. If we're going to have to accept that which is new, that which is strange, that which uh, many of the false prophets are proclamating today, it's not worth it. I don't know that I'll ever preach any more than what I am right now, and I don't know that I'll ever really be able to, to boast of doing a great deal for God, but I do know that I want to not be one of those that hears the words, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. I want to be sure that I'm doing the will of the Father by being obedient to his word, following his ways to the very best of my ability. Not everyone that saith, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Are you one of those that has made sure your salvation and living that life to where you can stand before God someday and hear the words, well done, good and faithful servant, enter into the joy of the Lord. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for the privilege of prayer. Thank Thee, O Lord, that we can call upon Your name for the help that we need. And we do need Your help and blessing today. We realize, dear Lord, that we cannot rely upon an experience that we had in years gone by. We need an up-to-date salvation. We need to know today that our sins are covered by the blood. We need to know today that we're making the effort that it takes to walk with God. Lord, I know that many people believe that grace covers everything, but Thou hast still placed some demands upon us. Thou hast still given us some commands, and Lord, we want to be faithful to the, to the demands of the gospel, and we want to be faithful to obey the commands that Thou hast give. So help us, Lord, in every way that we need help, that we might be pleasing unto God. Bless each one of our viewers today, Lord, and make it a great weekend as we assemble in the house of the Lord tomorrow. Bless your people everywhere, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting us share our heart again today, and we'll see you Monday morning, Lord willing. And I do hope we'll see a lot of you in the Lighthouse Chapel Sanctuary Sunday morning. Goodbye.